Hello, ladies, gents, and xenophobic and supremacists. Let's enter the magic garden. Give me some info. An arcade game stopped the jealous witch Cloverana from sabotaging your garden. An early game to take advantage of the LX2, which allowed for more colors per sprite. Wow. Let's uh, go back and go into the magic garden. Let's see what the magic garden is all about. Start the game, all right. We're going to destroy this damn witch. Okay, here's me, I move. Uh, okay, <laughs> I move and I uh, collect pink dudes. All right, do you guys destroy the other dudes? What are the stars about? Oh, you touch the border and you die, all right. <laughs> Good to know. Thank you for teaching me this valuable lesson by killing me instantly. Uh, I look forward to whatever this game is about. I have no idea. Uh, I guess I'm supposed, like, clearly I'm supposed to collect the the friendly ones. What do the, but the buttons do? What? What is the purpose of this? <laughs> what is the purpose of creating more filthy creatures? Okay, so this spins. So if you spin with one of these... They actually kill you, all right, that's great. So, I don't know what spinning is for. Oh, and you can also jump. Probably hit both. And you cannot turn around. I'm trying to turn around, you cannot. Basically, you are a snake. You are playing snake right now. This is me playing snake. So, y if you jump over one, it still kills you. You do not stomp them, all right? Uh... Okay. Maybe you need to release the the fellows inside the stars. Is that what you're supposed to do? Oh, that's right. They move. Uh, and they look in the direction in which they move. I see. All right. Grab these two. Release. Okay. All right. I have discovered what you need to do in the magic garden. So the entire point of this game is to release little fellas little pink fellas into the stars so what is this times two oh and it kills oh baby murder these disgusting blue jellies you kill yourself because you become a snake okay uh <laughs> we have now uh, gained the ability to see the high scores but we were nowhere near all right wonder if it's in stages or like is this the entirety of the game or what? I guess we'll eventually find out. So what do you do? It just does exactly the same thing that the other one did. All right. Okay, well, so we have... What's going on? Oh, that was the timer. There you are. And every time you release them, you create another star zone. Interesting. Uh -oh. So it's a hybrid of snake and its own thing. Uh, this is bad because we are kind of... We have too many of these idiots. Let me see if we can get them all in there. Wow! What is this? Basically, they are all exactly the same. Okay. Good stuff. I get it. All the concoctions are exactly the same. Do not kill yourself. Uh, having too many of these is, is really detrimental. <laughs> so let's see if we can get them all. Nobody is coming in. Oh, I was too concentrated at the top of the screen. Uh, well, cock made it onto the leaderboard. Wonder if this is like the entire game and you're just supposed to keep saving these guys until you either die or you reach some kind of win state and then probably it will restart with some uh, extra difficulty of some sort. Very, very simple, but, you know, I can see how this is enormously addictive. Holy crap, do I see that. <laughs> it's like, uh, yeah, you could get lost. This is basically a mobile game. You can get super lost in this. If this were on your, on your phone, you're waiting in line, you probably will just not even care about your appointment and just keep playing the damn video game. So what? Ah! Ow. So wonder, uh, how do you get rid of the blue dudes? Do you just 
wait until you have a concoction and that's about it. That's the only way to get rid of them. I would not be surprised if that's the case. Okay, let's grab the last one up here and release. So if it does feel like you have to go out of your way to go and kill them because it seems like it's the only way to get rid of them. So it really makes a lot of sense to go out of your way to destroy... Oh, you son of a bitch! To destroy the opposition. Oh, this is bad. Let's see if we can do something like this. Uh, we created a, an enemy, but it's okay. We get to eat them. Oh! One... Uh, some of the concoctions do not actually make the mushrooms edible. All right. We continue learning small wrinkles to our... To our capacity to navigate the magic garden an odd name for this game so can i just jump and you go through all right all right good stuff and he stuns them oh amazing all right you're not coming my way let's go out of our our comfort zone to kill every one of these monsters because it has become quite clear that is very important to get rid of the opposition as soon as you can. I mean, obviously you get extra points if uh, you get a many of them at the same time. Wonder if you if you jump over the mushroom, it does anything. Let's find out. Maybe you can even jump over the mushroom. Ha! You can indeed jump over the mushroom, but nothing happens. Does the red do the mushroom anything? No, does absolutely nothing. Definitely want to destroy this garbage scum. Get them to the zone. We don't really need that. Oh! Okay, it's all good. Everything's fine. Boing, boing, boing. Oh yeah, save them all. I'm quite certain at some point we grab one of the one of the potions. Oh, what? What happened there? One of the potions makes mushrooms killable. I don't know what exactly does it, but it must be one of the colors. Or maybe that was just like a little bonus that I got because I freed a certain number of little poporings, you know? That was a mistake. <laughs> I cre just created more threats for my supremacy. Oh yeah, everything became killable. Probably should have used the opportunity to get more of these pourings into my tail. Okay, this should be doable. Never mind. <laughs> yep. Oh, that was pretty close, and in fact, it was a little too close. Kind of ruined it. We gotta destroy these scum lords. All right, that was good. Get me three more. Oh, change of color. This is too much. We have reached a new and exciting level. There's a blue concoction at the top. Wonder if that's the one that does the mushrooms in. It is. Kill them all. Kill them all, baby. If you get a straight line, that's the opportunity to get rid of as many as possible. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're getting there. 63, huh? Wonder if there's a limit of any kind. Or... Uh... You can go on to infinity! Probably at some point. Pretty uh, dude, but it doesn't matter. At some point, things will become harder, right? Probably the spawn rate of the blues becomes higher. Oh, I just messed up. Yep. Oh yeah. Kill you, disgusting creatures. I appreciate the fact that it allows you to kill one and then turn immediately without having to commit to that square. 85. I'm in the magic garden. I'm going to harvest all of these little buffoons. And it's going to be glorious! We need that concoction right there. Whoopla! Get wrecked. Woo! Don't get too big! Lest I want to perish horrendously. Got myself another jar full of jizz. Alright, 
get you guys in there. We have changed colors again, but nothing really seems to happen. Everything is like almost exactly the same. The, the, the arena is the same size. The enemies are the same. Uh, we do need to continue grabbing the potions. Cool. Give me that one. Destroy you. We should have time to kill you as well. Good stuff. Wonder if there's any kind of big reward. Oh, I bet that the size of your snake, Giggity, uh, determines the color of your potion. So if you ever want to kill the mushrooms, you will be very, very much served by getting a giant snake in your service. I actually got everybody in. That's pretty neat. Holy crap. Okay, we're it's starting to get a little out of control. The number of little idiots that you you can have. Uh, they are spawning at a rate higher than I can. Oh, brother! That sucked. 138. Cock! Got all the way to number three, but didn't even make it to halfway to number one. And uh, I did get... I don't think that even counts as finishing, huh? Wow, this game is a, a trial of endurance. It's not so much a difficult game as a game that really needs you. Well, that was a mistake. Uh, really needs you to just constantly pay attention. Oh, oh baby. Give me this jar. Give me this jar. I need it. Uh, constantly pay attention. Do not get destroyed when you are seven hours in. I am enormously curious though as to whether it has an ending or you just keep going. You just keep going and you make yourself... Oh man, that was not good enough to kill mushrooms! Very nice that I'm actually able to turn like that. Very nice. All right. Give me some extra pink pourings. Oh, I almost killed myself. I forget that you cannot run back onto yourself. And it doesn't seem like it's guaranteed. Woohoo! <laughs> was not necessary that you're going to get a potion. Okay, you killed and you also get killed. Oh yeah. Give me some more of these pink idiots. I wonder if you get killed while it's spawning. I don't think you do. No, you don't. Okay, good stuff. Give me all these. We're actually also gonna grab that one. Look at this giant string of idiots being harvested. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, in fact, when you get a string long enough, you automatically get the ability to uh, kill the opposition. Good stuff. Give me all of these. Perhaps not the best choice. We kind of need to wait for a line to happen. Or I guess we could just leave a bunch behind. Woo. We kind of had to do that. <laughs> because we were kind of screwed with way too many. The thing is, sure you don't save them. But you do get the points murdering them. That is quite the addition. Uh, this is safe. This is safe. Don't worry about it. Oh yeah, we go grab this one, and we kill, oh, excuse me, you must be erased from existence. Okay, give me these five, very nice, give me these, all of these, oh yeah. Too many, too many. Jump? No! <laughs> Who are you? Who are you piece of trash celebrating, you evil witch? You piece of trash, garbage. Mm, cock makes it to position seven. All right, let's go one more time. I can totally see how you can get mega hooked on Magic Garden. Very, very simple, but very addictive. It's like a mobile game, man. I already said it, but it's true. It's true. You, This would be at home in any, any waiting room while you idle the hours away. While you're trying to get a pap smear. It is so nice and fun and funny. Murder! Okay, 
Let me eliminate each and every one of you. You deserve nothing but oblivion. Wonder if I have time to get down to the big line. No, don't disappear, son of a bitch. It's all right, we'll get this one. Okay, there's a blue. The blue does seem to kill mushrooms. Wonder what's the threshold. I might as well get this done. Save 25. What was our high score? I think 167. That's how far we got. Yeah, we'll do one of these. We really do need to imbibe some more deadly juice. Get you out. Grab you and turn around. Eliminate the opposition completely. And now we're going to go for a fat one. It's going to be huge. This level of pouring wrangling. Never before seen. Uh, this is a mistake. Jump over. There you go. Ah, that's good enough. <laughs> Mistakes were made. Could have been a lot better. But you also magic garden a game where you need to learn to cut your losses. Say, hey, this is good enough. Don't go uh, big nuts for the big one. Okay, let's go all the way to this corner. And we're gonna get everybody in line. Give me that pink. Give me that, I mean, gold or whatever the thing. Woo! Oh, that was a mistake for sure. Have you rescued as well? Green, I mean, it was green. Does not kill mushrooms. But at least eliminates the opposition in front of me. That's, that's all good. Harvest all of y'all. Give me that yellow. But that one also destroys mushrooms. It's random. I have to... I have to conclude it is just a random thing. Some of them destroy mushrooms, others don't. And that's about it. Hoppla! Uh, you are asshole piece of garbage! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Alright, let's get down here. Hopefully we're going to get this one to work. And now I'm going out of my way to eliminate a million of them. Give me some high score. Oh, you idiot, you walk back onto a freaking pouring. One more, this is gonna happen, this, this is it, this is it. The magic garden has cast its spores upon my lungs and addiction has spread all throughout the entirety of my, my system. There is no escape now. There's only the magic garden. Check out my jump, check out my incredible avoidance action. You die, you also die. We had time. Ah, you ass! <laughs> I was just playing fast and loose with my potion effects. The Magic Garden. What a wonderful little game. I like it. I like it a lot. Because it's, you know, it's... It's a twist on an old classic. There's a reason Snake was like default software on every single Nokia phone, right? Snake is addictive. This entire pile of play uh, gameplay is addictive as hell. And uh, very happy to be playing it. Very happy that this is an inclusion in UFO 50. You can't go wrong with Snake Plus. Very, very cool. And I will absolutely come back to Magic Garden and um, be sure to finish it. There's no way I'm not going to do that because it's a really good time. <laughs> and it's uh, almost silly to even admit it, but it's a really good time. I want, to, I want you dead, okay? Even though we don't really need to kill you, you're all the way down there in the corner harming nobody, being just a peaceful little blue dot in this bit of despair that is the magic garden being a vassal to the witch doing her bidding you just wanted to hide in the corner and do absolutely nothing they don't want to harm the little girl traversing the garden all you wanted to do was just hang out do no harm whatsoever but here you are being a piece of crap oh man oh man oh man i uh, i just got not just one but two messages on the phone 
I need to check just in case some kind of something is happening with my wife. Give me a second. Give me a second. The very important message was on my way home. And then the follow-up was a uh, gif with a happy dance. So, you know, it was very important. Just not terribly urgent. <laughs> uh, my wife is coming home. I am very happy to hear this. This is great news. This, this gives me a great reason to stop frolicking in the magic garden. These pourings are going to have to fend for themselves for a little while. I was almost about to release the pourings. Son of a bitch, I hit the wrong button. I was about to release them. Okay, give me that one. We're going to destroy all of these. This is the for sure the last one. No matter whether I die in a really stupid way. That makes me want to come back. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. All right, we got a really good sequence here. Hush! Very good. You know what? Get released. I'm seeing this cat is keeping count of some kind. Oh, what? Was, I just killed myself because I, I was looking at the potion on how to get it. This cat is keeping count. Is that how, what spawns the potions? I was so focused on the gameplay area that. Uh, I think that's how it works. You save enough, the cat gives you a potion. Don't quote me on it, but I think that's the way it, the way it works. Anyway, Magic Garden. What a cool little fun game. Really, really neat. Like it a lot.